Hey everybody, it's the Boss Lady here. Coming to you real quick. I gotta get to work, but I wanted to give you guys a great announcement. So I know a lot of my older subscribers have been with me since the beginning, and we've talked about, you know, Miss Pina having asthma, and, you know, Miss Pina wanting a pet, and all these different things, and how, you know, she has to do um, allergy testing just to make sure, and blah, blah, blah. Well, recently, um, I became a grandma to a fur baby, <laughs> uh, baby girl got a little dog and don't ask me what kind. Cause I don't know. All I know is he's short, he's sweet and he's a lap dog. So yes. Yeah, so she got her a little dog. She can dress up and all that stuff. So that was probably about mm, roughly about two weeks ago now. Well, Miss Peanut didn't like that too well because, you know, she had been asking for a pet. You know, fish don't count. Frogs don't count. She wanted something that she could touch and that she could cuddle with and whatever. And so, um, Boss Man and I, we talked about it. And, you know, because of our lifestyle, because of the things that we do, um, a dog just does not fit our our schedule. It doesn't fit our family. Uh, we did have a dog years and years past, but... Um, as of right now, a dog just will not fit into our schedule. Miss Pina is very, you know, busy and things are getting ready to pick up for her this coming weekend. So a dog, you know, you got to walk them every day and take them outside and all that great stuff. So it just wasn't going to fit. And so she was not happy, but I can tell you, uh, boss man did agree for her to get a kitten. Um, so we have a brand new kitten. Uh, his name is Kobe. Miss Pina had, uh, she did have a request. She said she either wanted an orange cat or she wanted a black and gray striped cat, um, like my previous, um, coworker had. And so I told her dad what she wanted, but she didn't, she wasn't, uh, specific on gender, but I told her dad what she wanted. And, um, yesterday, he decided to get on Craigslist. We went to the Humane Society. Humane Society was entirely too expensive. Plus, you don't know what you're going to get because people are just donating their animals or whatever. And so they said cats there, pretty much they don't get a lot of kittens. And if they do, kittens go just quick. But um, they said typically a cat is anywhere from $60 to $200. Now, granted, I'm all for, you know, get my baby something or whatever. But um, I'm not paying no $200 for no cat. I'm sorry. The previous cats I've owned, they were free to me. Even my dog was free to me. So, yeah, I'm not paying. No, no, no. We're not doing that. So, anyway, so when I told Bossman how much it was, he said, you know what? Let me get on Craigslist and see what I can see. And y'all know we a Craigslist family. You know, we thrift store Craigslist, whatever. And, um... He found a, a family who was giving away kittens. They had two, two boys, a black one and an orange one. And they actually were selling them for $5 a piece. And they said you could either, you know, buy one for five or you could buy one, get one free. Um, and, you know, the owners, they wanted us to take both. But I just said, I can't. You know, this is new to me. I haven't had a cat since Miss Peanut was probably about six months old. So, yeah, this is a big adjustment. She's nine and a half now, so it's been nine years. Uh, yeah, so it's a big adjustment. But I would like to introduce everybody to Mr. Colby. Uh, he had two names. Well, we went through a list of names. Let me tell you the list of names. First, she said Ginger. Then she said... She said Ginger, she said Autumn, she said um, Sphinx, like the Egyptian Sphinx or whatever. Then my husband said Ramses, because, uh, you know, he's all into um, the Egyptian pharaoh and all that stuff. Um, then uh, Kobe came up on the list, Sunny came up on the list, Sunshine, um, I'm trying to think. We had a few different names, but anyway... Um, she, oh, she came up with Emerald because when she looked at the picture, we showed her the picture and his eyes are green. So she said, oh, I can name him Emerald because his eyes are green. So I said, okay, that's a, you know, thought. And then I'm going through a list of names and I came across Kobe. And so everybody agreed that they like Kobe. So that's his name. Um, so his name is Kobe, like after the cheese, Kobe Jack cheese. Um, and so Bossa and I, we, we tend to call him Kobe Jack and you know, he responds, he is a typical baby. Um, he needs a lot of attention. He cried the whole way home. We had to drive an hour to get him. And um, 
he cried the whole way home. I felt so bad because, you know, we had him in a kennel. And uh, he, he, he was cute, though. Um, he explored the house. I'm like, oh, my goodness. And because it was like a spur of the moment thing, um, the house was not kitten ready. And it's still not kitten ready. So, yeah, Boss Lady got a lot to do, y'all. Um, he does get underfoot really quick. So that was something else that was kind of uh, <laughs> new to me. Uh, but he, he loves Miss Peanut. He just cuddles with her. He gets up in her lap and he just purrs. And, you know, um, he wants to be picked up. He wants to be held. So um, she's happy. She is happy. So I'll post a few pictures so you guys can see her with her new kitten. Um, but, oh my gosh, I got woke up at 5 o'clock this morning <laughs> because of the cat. So y'all pray for me. Pray for Boss Lady because I was ready to send him in his litter box at the door. I'm like, you know, I'm not used to being woke up like this, but I forgot he's still a baby. So, <sighs> but I had to give you guys the, the news, the announcement. I had posted, um, I had posted an announcement, uh, on Instagram. And of course, people thought I was either having a grandchild or a baby myself. No, don't nobody got time for that. So, <laughs> Y'all enjoy looking at the pictures of Kobe and you have a great day. I'll see everybody later. Bye.